Hey, YouTube. So, I am out here with my C P226 Legion chambered in 357 Um, Oh, let me show him. He's a pretty guy. He is clear. Okay. Yep. So, I'm going to go ahead and get loaded up. Got a few already ready. I need to load up at least one more magazine. And um, I'm going to get some shots down range. So um, I just finished my practice rounds, uh, the 357, just some regular practice. I am going to move on to my, this is Federal HST. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to my next magazine, which is gonna be my Spear Gold Dot. I am out of magazines. I want to set up some new targets and let's do it again. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk to you about my SIG P226 Legion chambered in 357 SIG. Now this is arguably one of the most iconic and reliable firearms in history. So much so that when you think about law enforcement, military, and what their sidearm might be, most people are gonna see or picture the P226. For me, my Legion, I am in love with this firearm, okay? I'm in love with this weapon. I'm proud of it because I like the way it feels in my hand. I like the way it shoots. And so that um, translates to me wanting to share it with friends and family whenever they come over, where, you know, whenever I'm around them. Um, and then I've sought after it for many years, right? So when I did get it, it's caused me to cherish it and I view it as a collectible. Um, I think like the best way for me to try to describe how I feel about it, I feel like the Legion is what the Z06 is to the Chevy Vet 
or AMG is to Mercedes or M series to the BMW. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, they took a solid platform and made it better, the best for them, I think. Um, now, what I do wanna say is that I know most people here probably already know what a P226 is and know what makes a Legion a Legion. And if you don't, just hold on a second and I'll go over what makes it a Legion. Um, but I think we need to talk about the P226 for just a minute. Now, this legendary firearms service life, it began in, um, well, it was produced in 1984, and then um, it was adopted by um, top tier government agencies here in the US and abroad. Now, that speaks volumes to the design of this pistol, okay? Now, my particular interest in the P-Series, of 6 P-Series, um, it was sparked when I found out that our Navy and Air Force aviators, that they use the M11A1, which is the P228, um, as their sidearm. And then, like, it's common knowledge that DevGrew, they had that Mark 25, which is the P226, made just for them. I mean, these are subject matter experts that are leaning towards P-Series. So I was interested. Now, if you're wondering, how did I end up with the 357 caliber, right? Um, or cartridge, however you want to say it. Um, well, when I found out that our Secret Service and especially the Federal Air Marshals, that they use that same round in a P-229. Once again, we have the P-Series that pops up. Now you know anything about the air marshals their qualification testing you know the for firearms is one of the most extensive um, of any of the agencies um, and then I also found out that JSOC right they sent some operators down to partake you know um, participate I should say in this qualification process they walked away saying that anyone that can qualify in this should be and is considered part of the 1% of top pistol shooters in the world. So I'm like, man, if I'm looking at a 357, why wouldn't I get what some would consider, you know, SMEs, subject matter experts in the field. And it's just a really good gun. I mean, when you shoot it, it has the weight, it is the point ability. I was just really impressed. And I'm not a person that makes purchases like, you know, um, on whim. And then with it being like Secret Service and stuff, that's why you're gonna see in the video that I decided I wanted to try to pull from the um, inside the waistband, try to mimic what they were doing. If they can do it with, they did it with a 229, I have a 226, but if they can do it, why not try? So that is pretty much why I decided, um, you know, to get this P226 chambered in 357 SIG. And another thing um, I forgot to mention that the 357 round in the 226, they stopped doing that in 2018, right? So when everything aligned and I was able to get it, I ended up getting the last year, which just added to my reasons for making this a collectible for me. So I'm gonna move on and show those that don't know what make a, makes a Legion a Legion. This is this gorgeous gun that I was talking about, okay? Or I've been talking about. We're gonna start with this beaver tail. Oh, wait a minute, before we start, I'm gonna show you that my magazine is out and I'm clear, okay, so we're safe. Um, so yeah, the beaver tail is exaggerated, which allows you to get high up on the gun, adds to stability and control. Then you have the Legion Custom Grips, and then we go into the undercut, which is um, extremely curved. Once again, that's exaggerated, helping the placement of that middle finger. Then you move on um, to the trigger guard and the front strap that have checkering, helps with your grip. And then we have the SRT, um, which is the short reset trigger. I'm gonna show you just how short that is, okay? I'm gonna show you on this side just cause it's easier to see. That is insanely short. So um, since I'm over here, I'll show you the slide stop and the decocker are low profile on here. I mean, really, really, so much so that right now with this thumb, the way you know, I have a thumb injury, 
I can't even set that. It's, it's just too low. I have to use the other finger. Move up to my serrations on um, the slide. That is how you can charge. And then you have steel guide rod. And you have the, your back serrations, of course, to charge as well. And then we have the um, x-ray day night sights. And you're blacked out in the back. And then we finish off with just the finish. I mean, you have that legendary or pr proprietary um, Legion Gray. And it's um, it's on there with the P PDV uh, coating. I'm sorry, I couldn't think of that. But that's just that thin coating that helps against scratching. And um, it just extends the life in the look of your gun. Now, it's not foolproof because when I first got this, I was so excited, so happy to have it. Um, that I did carry it for a little bit under a year. So I have pistol wear here and um, I dropped it back here. So yeah, even though it has that, that coating, it doesn't stop it, but I guess it's better than not having anything. So I am not gonna hold you any longer. Um, get back to the rest of the video, but before I let you go, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and please be sure to share this video. And as always, I appreciate you in this tactic. The 357 is I thought it was going to be when I first shot a 357. You know, people make such a big deal about that caliber. Um, don't get me wrong now. I feel it, but it's not um, unmanageable, I guess is the right word. But, uh, yeah. Now, I have a thumb injury, so I'm awkward dropping my magazine, so forgive me. But we're going to work with it either way. All right. <sighs> me out here practicing a little bit getting um, more comfortable with my legion let's get ready okay <clears throat> make sure you get that shirt out the way Um, yeah, my first shot out, I'm happy with that. This is going to be round two. I am um, back loaded up. This is exciting. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Do it again. Remember, make sure you get that shirt out the way. All right. Mm, hold on. I didn't like that. much hitting the target is making me happy obviously I want to do that is that getting out the holster but um this makes me a lot more comfortable and confident all right here we go yep really simple so all right I hope you guys enjoyed that um if you haven't already, remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed my last video. 
they did a great job at suppressing that um so get this one out there if nothing else you're checking out a chick that is pulling from inside the waistband and i'm in the a zone all right so this is tactic thank you and i appreciate you